In this video, I will show you my list of add-ons. If you don't know, add-ons are sort of like plugins that add a lot of functionality to Anki and make Anki so much better. So the first add-on that I want to mention is Advanced Review Button Bar. This add-on has two main functionalities. The first one is that it changes the look of the buttons. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison of how Anki looks with and without the add-on. The second functionality is that it adds a side info bar. So when you're reviewing your cards, if you click on the info button, it shows you so much information about your current card, such as the last time you reviewed your card, its ears percentage, how many times you've reviewed it, and also all the times that you've reviewed that card in the past. So you can see here, April 2018, it was in the learning phase and I've reviewed it many times and then I've got it wrong and then I had to relearn it and so on. You can customize the settings of the info bar and the settings of the buttons by going to tools, advanced review button bar settings. From here, you can customize everything about the buttons and the side info bar, such as the height and the width and the colors and the designs. So for example, there are these designs for the buttons that you can choose from, and you can also customize the width and the height of these buttons and, and so much more. Right, so the next add-on is the add table add-on. With this add-on, as the name suggests, it allows you to add tables to your cards. So, so if you click on this button, insert table, a small window pops up and asks you about the number of columns and the number of rows and other settings that you can mess around with. So let's say I want to have a table with two columns and like six rows, including the heading. I can click OK. And now my table is added to my card. And now I can edit the table and just add whatever I want to it. And also you can create closed deletions or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, next up is always on top add-on. This add-on allows you to keep Anki windows always on top of other windows. So for example, when I'm making cars, I always like to have multiple windows open. So here I got four pages on Google Chrome open. If I click on any of them, Anki gets buried in the background. However, if I enable this add-on by going to tools, always on top, and bring up the add dialog to add cards, I can move the main Anki window and now I've got the add dialog floating on top of the other pages. So I can move it around and copy stuff from here. The next add-on is from Amboss. It's most commonly used by medical students and I use it all the time. It requires an Amboss subscription, but in my opinion, it's well worth the money. What it does is that it highlights words in your cards and if you hover on them, it shows you a quick summary for that term. And if you click on it, it will take you directly to that learning card. So the next add-on is called Anki Simulator. This add-on looks at the number of cards that you have, the number of reviews, the number of new cards, the suspended cards, and then looks at your settings and how well you did previously in the past, and then runs a simulation to generate a chart for you to see how your future reviews will look like. So all of these numbers are pulled from your deck settings, and this is your performance in the past. So here, for example, I'm using my main deck, and I put that I wanna study 150 cards per day, and I wanna do the maximum reviews per day, so I just put 999. I've got my learning steps and my maximum interval, and then I wanna see what the next 180 days will look like. So if I press simulate, and now it tells me what each day will look like. So I've got a peak in July and then everything kind of plateaus afterwards. So let's say I wanna change this to do 100 new cards per day instead of 150. And I press simulate again, and you can see now that it's simulated what would happen if I reviewed 100 cards per day instead of 150. So you can mess around with this and just to see what your future reviews will look like. And then you can adjust your deck settings accordingly. Next add-on is called Anki Zoom. It allows you to zoom in and zoom out. Next add-on is called Better Tags. This add-on allows you to better organize your tags. So you can see here I've got tags and I've got nested tags. And I can drag tags within other tags. So let's say if I wanted to put jaundice within liver, I can just drag and drop onto liver. And now jaundice becomes part of the liver tag. Just to show you what Anki by default looks like if you have so many tags. So this is how Anki handles tags by default. You can see it's a, it's a mess. Other things you can do with better tags, you can change the color of your tags. 
Next up is browser search box. With this add-on, if you type tag colon, it brings up this window. So you can select your tag from here instead of having to type it all out. You can do tag colon or you can do deck colon and it's the same thing. Next up is clickable tags. This add-on, as the name suggests, makes tags clickable. So here you can see my tag. So if I click on this, it brings up all the cards with that tag in the browser window. Next add-on is color confirmation. This add-on shows you a text pop-up based on what answer you chose after you've shown your card. So here it shows me good. If I press again, it shows me again. If I press easy, it shows me easy. It's very useful when you're reviewing your cards fast and you weren't sure what you put in the previous answer. Next add-on is Customize Keyboard Shortcut. This add-on, as the name suggests, allows you to customize a lot of the keyboard shortcuts. So here's a list of all the keyboard shortcuts that you can change. Next add-on is called Customize Sidebar. So what this add-on does is that it better organizes this sidebar in the browser. It allows you to expand or collapse your flags. It puts all of your decks together under, under one tab called Decks and your node types under one tab as well. All can be expanded or collapsed. Next add-on is called Dancing Baloney. This add-on was mentioned in a previous video called Beautiful Anki, so go back and check that in that video. But simply, it allows you to customize the background, it allows you to customize the deck gear icon, and also customize other stuff like the top bar, the bottom bar, and whatnot. Next add-on is called External Note Editor. It allows you to edit your notes from the browser externally. So if I click on this tag and I press Command Option E, I can now edit this separately. So I can put it on this side and then choose another card and I can edit this as well on the side. So I can choose multiple cards if for some reason that you wanted to see them all together like this. If you wanted to compare them or if you wanted to add them all together or something like that. So this add-on allows you to do that. Next add-on is called Fastbar. It adds these buttons to your browser for ease of access. Next add-on is called Frozen Fields. This add-on is very useful if you're creating multiple cards and all of these cards have a shared extra field. So for example, if I freeze the extra field here and I type anything here, and then if I just type whatever and then say that I'm making cards for it, every time that I press add, as you can see, the extra field is frozen. And now if I go and show add it today, so as you can see that the extra field has been duplicated for all of the other cards as well. Very useful add-on. Next add-on is called Hint Hotkeys. This is useful if you use hint fields. So for example, normally by default, I think you have to click on the hint field if you wanted it to appear. However, with this add-on, you can press a keyboard shortcut just to make it easier for you to expand that hint field. Okay, next two add-ons are called Hold'em Card Field and Open Added Today. So Hold'em Card Field will allow you to view the history of your added cards that you've added today. I think by default, Anki only allows you to edit the last three added cards. Whereas with this add-on, it allows you to see all of the cards that you've added today. So that once you click on History, you can view them and you can also edit them from here. The other one, Open Added Today, it just adds this button, Added Today. So once you click on it, it opens the Added Today directly from the Add dialog. Okay, so the next add-on is called Image Style Editor. So this add-on allows you to resize the images from the add dialog. So for example, if I bring up the add dialog and I copy two images, and now I want them to appear side by side. To do this, I right click and choose image styles. And let's say I put the height of this as 500 and the other one image styles again, and I put the height here as 500 as well. And now because both are at the same height, they appear side by side as if both of them are actually one picture. The next add-on is called Image Resizer. So this add-on allows you to paste pictures at a predetermined height. If I copy any picture and I paste it using this hotkey, it will automatically have this height. This is useful if you're copying pictures from the internet that are in the thousands of pixels. So for example, if I wanted to copy this image and I go paste it in the add dialog, As you can see, the picture is kind of bigger than what I would like it to be. But if I press Command Option V or Control Alt V, and because I predetermined every image to be at 500 pixels, then when I paste it, as you can see, the picture retains the same quality, but it's much smaller. Next add-on is called Live Drain. What this does, it adds this bar at the top of your reviewer, or you can have it at the bottom of your reviewer. Each second that passes will take one life point from your health. And if you answer cards good, it adds five points to it. And if you answer them wrong, it takes five points as well. 
So I think it's just kind of to gamify Anki a little bit. Next add-on is called Mini Format Pack. What this does, it just adds kind of a lot of these formatting buttons to your cards, which allows you to center text, so you can kind of align it to the right or left, or you can indent and add bullet points, add numbers and whatnot. Next add-on is called More Deck Stats. This does, it adds this little stats section that tells you how much time is left for today, based on your average speed for reviewing cards. And it just tells you how many cards that you've studied today and how long that took you. The next add-on is called opening the same window multiple times. What this does, it allows you, as the name suggests, to open multiple windows at the same time. So for example, if I open this browser and I wanted to say to go to the pediatrics tags, I can also open another instance of the browser and go to the medicine tag. And I can open as many browsers I want in case I wanted, say, to compare different tags or different cards or whatever. You can also open multiple ad dialogues as well. So if I open this here and I open that there, say that you're creating a card and you're midway, you're not sure, so you can just pause it and kind of leave this card on the side and open another ad dialogue to continue making your card. The next add-on is called Pop-Up Dictionary. What this add-on allows you to do, say when you're reviewing your cards and you wanted to look at a certain term and see all the cards where that term is mentioned. So for example, if I look at Barry's esophagus here, I can just select it. And then with this shortcut, I can see all of the card. So the shortcut is, command shift D, or you can just double click on it. And now I can see all the cards in my collection where the word Barrett's esophagus is mentioned. And then I can browse any of those cards in the browser as well. Next add-on is called progress bar. So what this add-on does, it adds this progress bar, which tells you how many review cards that you have to do today. And then when you're reviewing those cards, the number just increases until you finish those cards. And just another way to gamify Anki as well. The next add-on is called Puppy Reinforcement. What this add-on does, it shows you pictures of puppies or any pictures that you set it to be. And then, so for example, I set it to show me pictures of puppies every 15 reviews just to kind of gamify Anki. So for example, here, if I just continue to review my cards. The next add-on to mention is the review heat map. This add-on shows you your daily average cards and the longest streak and your current streak as well. I set it here from the start of the year. And you can also go day by day and see how many cards you've reviewed on a certain day. And if you click on it, it will show you all the cards that you've reviewed on that particular day. You can customize the settings and the colors and everything from here. And the final add-on is called symbols as you type. So if I open up the ad dialog, it just allows you to quickly add symbols. So for example, and you can customize and see all of these symbols in the settings of the add-on. And there are add-ons that I use, but I did not mention in this video just simply because it would make the video even longer and I want to keep it a bit shorter. But definitely go check Anki Web and see kind of the high rated ones and whatnot.